Hello and welcome to episode 8, series 3 of the Magic Sponge, the last one of the series. Big numbers there, episode 8, series 3. Yeah, I thought I got it wrong then. <laughs> episode <laughs> 8, some series 3. big numbers three. there. Yeah. Like, three. Yeah, for us, it's done well lasting that long, oh, that's yeah, what I'm saying. No, no, is, that, is that a high number for you, Jim? Um, yeah, fairly. I'd say episode 8, yeah, eight, that sounds yeah, like you've done a bit, as many you've done it for a long you've got time. got wasn't it, 8? And, oh, that's a bit low. So, but, um, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a low start for you this early. <laughs> it wasn't a bit much, wasn't it? I'm sorry. It was a bit bit mean, wasn't it? I'm really sorry. Okay, it's fine, I love it. Um, anyway, oh, we've got a tweet off the back of the last episode with Lee Hendry, who had some uh, oh, great brilliant. stories. Yeah, listen, it was fantastic to see him. He's, he's a good boy, wasn't he? Yeah, it was yeah, funny. Yeah. Some of the stuff that didn't it, make it. His ex girlfriend had a dildo cupboard. A dildo? Yep, yeah, she had a dildo cupboard. cupboard. Did, that make, did that make the edit? <laughs> Full cupboard of dildos, did that make the yeah, 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 yeah. Full cupboard of dildos. Anyway, and um, we've got a tweet from it. Um, Chopper Morris, one on Twitter, said, That Magic Sponge podcast with Lee Hendry, the Dutch goalkeeper story was brilliant, and then loads of little smiley, la- laughy cry faces. Yeah. It was a good it's one. Blinding, blinding story, yeah. One of the best we've had on it. Um, also, before we start, we've got. John Parkin, John, you're in, you mean? Yes. I mean, right. JP, welcome, son. Thank I'm you. really happy to have this big man. Uh, <laughs> and to be fair, you look a lot slimmer. Yeah, I'm not actually as big as what you what you think. I know, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, really. Twenty percent body fat's not that big, is it? No, no, no. you look fitter and trimmer than I actually thought. Oh, before before we crack into your life story, John, um, Ian, yeah, you've got something to own up to, I think. What? Um, you, can't, can't prove it. You know, this is the number one football scene, podcast. Mate. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this and obviously, was the number one podcast at one point. Wasn't yeah, it? but it's still the best. Mm. We're still the best football one, isn't it? That's, oh, that's a fact. Um, however, yeah, scum Judas Turncoat <laughs> over there, you What's are that, on man? Dream Team FC. Well, that sounds like a pile of wank. With James Buckley from the Inbetweeners. Yeah. Oh, what are you, you doing? Basically, why are you jumping shit? Because, Soul Campbell scum. Because your agent, Jim, Jimmy's agent, Jim, is really <laughs> quite confusing. <laughs> So, so Jim, Jim emailed me and was like, "Do you want to do this?" And uh, I don't know if you can. It's three hundred quid. So I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> so, How much did he take? One fifty. You want to get in that one, John? I don't think he's it's fucking on right. It. It's, 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 what day is that? It's the only agent that takes. Yeah, 50%. you want to get? You want to double up? It's it's got. Do that one next week as well. Good. Get them all in. So good. what do they talk about there? Just their dream teams. Well, it's just James Buckley is in like. And that's his full name by default. No, isn't it? James is Buckley it? from the Inbetweeners, I think. Oh, what? Like, oh, it's changed his surname to Buckley from the Inbetweeners. Yeah, yeah, just so that. But he's just in LA, so he's like Skyping in on a screen. Oh, you're not even in the room. No, no, he do not really seem that bothered about what's happening. He's just like, oh, yeah, so we've got Ian's. Well, he and described up, Jimmy. Really? Here, mate, we've got some podcast beef Go on happening. On in. Go on. He described Jimmy's accent as Cockney John Major or Kermit the Frog. I don't remember that because if he had said that to me, well, did you say mate, that? I'd have banged him no, out. I'll you know get, I'll I'll get where he's you? coming from there. I'll get where oh, he's no, coming from. Oh, no, I didn't from. say that. He said that. That's the funniest he's got. Cockney That's John why he's Major. Like, doing very average. John Major sounds like. Saying, it doesn't sound like he's doing average. He's in LA, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing all right. He'll be in a yeah. film soon, will he? Yeah, of course he will. Anyway. Busy bastard. Right, let's forget <laughs> about him. John yeah. the Beast Parking. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much for coming on. Where have you come from? I've come from Stroud today. Right, okay. Yeah. There's some accent you got there. Where's that from? Barnsley. Barnsley, yes. Not lost. Yes. Oh, another Yorkshire. Yeah, we've got two Yorkshire people yeah. now. Where are you from? From Ghoul. Oh, near Hull. You're oh, the... yeah. I don't know if you've ever been. Three Yorkshire nice. went to Hull once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Ghoul. three Yorkshire people. Oh, that's some great Yorkshire Happy guy banter, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instantly no connected. Any other connection you've got about being from Yorkshire? Any? Um, do you like Yorkshire puddings? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> and bacon rolls. John, <laughs> a lot six of times like you've got a bag full striker of that. with Forest Green, previously playing for Barnsley, Hull, Stoke, Preston, and Cardiff. A total of 169 goals in your career. For your best haul coming last year, we scored 30 goals in a season. That's good, isn't it? Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what we've been told. Yeah. That's the stats we do, boy. All right. Decent. And you joined Fleetwood Town in 2012, the summer that Jamie Vardy left for Leicester. Yeah, they went downhill, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, say, it's not a like for like swap, is it? <laughs> no, no. And you're like you're six foot four, but you're you know because you get a lot of grief for being like big, but you don't. You look, so I say you look no, pretty. No, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah, you, you been on a diet the lately or what? Because yeah, when I see no. your box, you look massive. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> nah, uh, no, to be fair, I'm not a big dieter. No, no. no. Do you so care? What? Do you care when people say that to you, or do they not say it to you? Uh, yeah, they do say it, but I'm not really asked to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I love what's, it. Have you ever had like a strict footballer's diet type thing? Or mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I bet he thinks I've come on here and we just slaughtered him. <laughs> no, we no, know. We're saying he looks good because like the sort yeah. of the you know sort of you know look fit and healthy and like slim, not you know of the beast you have you sort of imagine with the the sort yeah. of the grief again. But you've, you you did you play together? Um, no, I missed I missed John. Um, he was at Hull, and then I I went to Hull under Phil Brown. Was you under Brownie? Oh, yeah. He was pulled up on <laughs> are, you, are you one of them? Because Brown is either you love Brown or you hate him. No, nah, he's I... number two on my shit list. <laughs> oh, number oh, two. So I thought he was number three. Yeah, I've got a shit You've got a shit list. You've got a shit list. Shit list. <laughs> Who's one? Both let's go, no, let's go, don't go, f- let's go one first. Let's go. How many people on your shit list? There's three major ones. Uh, okay, go. What's can, we can't, can we start top five, please? Top five? Oh, yeah. yeah, then. I never thought down to five. <laughs> all right, top three. Three. Give me the top three shit Steve Parkin. Are you still Steve at all? Steve Parkin, oh, yes, I, the coach. I thought he said yes. Sam Parkin. Yes. We right. had him on the show. No, he's, he's number okay. three. Steve Parkin's number, number three. three. Phil, Phil Brown, Brown number two. Yeah. Jay Boothroyd, number one. Jay Boothroyd. Yeah. Right. Talk really? me, Steve Parkin, why? And we've why? brought them here today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve Parkin, he fucked us off from Barnsley. Right, okay. But it was the way that he did it. Yeah, yeah, What yeah. did he do? Uh, and was he gaffer there? Yes, he was gaffer. Was he? Yeah, right, he, okay. sent, he sent me out on loan to Hartlepool and uh, I weren't really playing but I was only 18 got you so he said go for another month yeah no bother uh, We I couldn't drive at the time so I used to travel home from Hartlepool on the Friday travel back up for the game Saturday so the Friday tea time I got a phone call from the uh, from the physio saying you're training tomorrow morning yep. so I'm like well I said I can't get there I couldn't get a lift up. Like, yeah, no bother, no bother. So I thought, I'm not travelling up for just to watch the game. Obviously, not involved. Yeah. So I went up on the. Didn't never went to the game. Went up on the Saturday, Sunday night. Phone call from Steve Park in the Monday morning. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm like, what? He says, <laughs> uh, you're supposed to be, supposed to be uh, on the bench on Saturday. Never turned up. I went, nah, nah. I says I was supposed to be training Saturday morning. Uh, nah, you're supposed to be on the bench. You can fuck off. You're, you're two weeks' wages. You're free at end of year. That's what you said. That's what that. Yeah. Right. So right. How are right. you only making that call on Sunday though? As well, like you're supposed to be on the bench on Saturday. Well, you need for me Monday morning. Fucking hell! Why is he not called you out again? No idea. That's what you. Why is he not called yeah. you on Saturday? Going like, where the fuck are you? I'm watching well, this. Right. Yeah. Okay. So he's one of them. He'll tell you one thing. Do yeah. On your bed. So he, that, he's number. He's number three. <laughs> Brownie number two. Did you when, just fart there, John? No, no, you know about that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be it more blow, than a ripple. It'd blow your scarf off. Blow <laughs> 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 your scarf off. That's the most Yorkshire thing I've ever heard. Go on, number two, Brandon. Number two, Brownie. Uh, obviously, he's, he's manager. We just slaughtering people here, isn't Yeah, pretty much. Brilliant. He's co- he was coach to start with, gets the job when Phil Parkinson gets sat. So, uh, we're like fifth bottom, struggling a little bit. Uh, I went out on loan to Stoke, who was sixth. So, the plays the game Saturday. Uh, he did an interview on the radio Saturday, the whole radio, whatever. <laughs> Why have you let John Parkin go out on loan to Stoke? We're sick when we're struggling. He's like, I need people who are committed to this football club. Uh, people who want to play for this football club. So, so, a couple of lads phoned me saying, if you want to hear what this <laughs> is talking about, you. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, so our phone's in Monday morning. What's this you've been saying about me not committed to the football club, yeah. not wanting to play for us? No, no, never said that. No, no, you know how he is. Yeah. So I says, well, he says, I'll get back to you. I'll listen to the radio. I'll get back to you. The radio interview, <laughs> I'll get back to you. Right, no bother. So I played three games for Stoke, never scored. I scored a three and three in my next three. He fucking calls me back. Right, never, never phoned me in six weeks. Yeah. Calls me back. Back here, yeah, you, you're in with us. You're in with us Thursday. I think we played Saturday, Monday. Thursday, you're in with us. So I went and see him first. I said, what the fuck is this all about? <laughs> he said, uh, I said, you said you were going to phone me about that radio interview. He says, uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, I love your yeah. Phil Browning. <laughs> so he's, uh, I said, I tell you, you think, yeah, I said, you can fuck off. I said, I, 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 I don't really want to play for you anymore. Then I left, I left that summer. And then yeah. he came, he came uh, when I was at Fleetwood, he came to an interview with us. So our press guys come over and said, oh, Phil Brown's here, he wants to do an interview with you. 
Like, you can fuck off. <laughs> what, you wanted to interview you? Yeah, for some of what everybody were doing. Yeah. So yeah. he stood in the corner, like, near the changing room. Parky! So, like, you fuck off. And then some... <laughs> 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 Somebody else had to do it. Right, Somebody okay. Somebody else had to do it. And then but Brownie were... and Parky, they're, they're good friends, aren't well, they? Well, when, when yeah, Phil Brown fetched Parky in, mm. when, uh, when he was manager. I was there, his assistant, yeah, yeah. when I was there. So... Uh, Obviously, Parky must have said something to him about him. About yeah. Obviously, so you get we were trained out the uni. Did you ever trained out the uni? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, trained yeah. out the uni. So Phil Brown says, "Parky, come and get in with me. I need a chat with you." So he says, uh, "I've obviously fetched uh, fetched Steve in. What do you think?" I went, "Yes, he's a." <laughs> I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, straight down the line." I, I says, "No, nah, I says if you keep him away from me. I don't want nothing to do with him." I mean, that was pretty much that. Yeah. And then Jay right. Boothroyd. Boothroy. Yeah, Boothroyd, let's get oh, on. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> <laughs> so quite, looking in, he looks so, like a bit of So around. fucking arrogant and <laughs> self-opinionated. And, really? Yeah. I went there, he probably, I went there in the January, and I think he, he got his England call up a month and a half, two months oh. before that. Fuck Someone him. like that, you just don't need that. Yeah. Do <laughs> I mean, him and, you know, Chops, Michael Chopra? Oh, yeah. They're once having an argument <laughs> in Cheney Rooms about who's got the most D&G gear. <laughs> Twenty-eight year old men. Yeah. I've got I've got more DNG gear than you. Oh, as you like, like leave what? it out, you oh, two like, drips. Mate, they're, they're gonna bring it in. So like, you know, well, I know Chuck, we ain't got a pot of piss and swap, but that's not well, that's not it. He yeah. must have salted now. Yeah. Yeah. He brought yeah, it in my bar off the beach. Let me fucking tell. They're having an argument about if you've all got really? the most DNG gear. And you didn't have a running with him, you just found him a bit annoying. It wasn't nah. like you had a he, he actually or... came on loan to Stoke uh, for a month when I was at Stoke. And then we we played when I was at Preston. We played Cardiff. They were like third, and I think they got a few games in hand. He says, "Oh, you've got a fucking great chance this year, like." And he went, "Yeah, we'll dig your today. Uh, we've got so and so Tuesday. We'll beat them." We ended up fucking stuffing them six. Brilliant. So we ended up stuffing them six, and we got in. We got in the playoffs uh, by one goal. They missed out by one goal. So obviously that fucking. Six nil that yeah. swung yeah. it around like. Yeah. What was the other players like towards Boothroyd? Just, they... just let him get on with. Let him yeah, get on with. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he he always used to talk to him and Bellas mainly. Oh right. Bellamy, but Bellas used to half fuck him off. Really? Yeah. Was he like Bellas? Because he's a bit of a character, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's different to what I thought he were. Yeah. Is oh. he is he a hard man? Because he it looks like he'd he'd have a fuse and like crack. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 definitely not hard there. Craig so. Bellamy. No, I see he him looks as furious. He's like got no neck. He's like, like looking in. He looks like him. a chirpy little yeah, rottweiler. Yeah, but he's, doesn't he? he's, he's chirpy only only because he wants to win. I think only he wants everything done yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Do you know like he's, he's I wouldn't like to think I was sat having a pint with him on my own. But I, I could be in his company, like. But yeah, yeah he just yeah, wants. Yeah. He just he's like annoying, but only to like win and be good. Yeah. That's Steve Jobs. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like <laughs> after. <laughs> After Steve Jobs, you know, really committed to the calls. Yeah, always got like roll necks on. Who the fuck yeah. is Steve Jobs? Oh my god! Do you know who Steve Jobs is? No. Oh god! You know, you know um, that phone in the front here. Yeah. Who do you think invented that? Oh, was it Jobsy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Jobsy. I know. Oh, Jobsy. Oh, Jobsy. Oh, Steve fucking... Jobsy. Jobsy, you Jobs were. <laughs> <laughs> and it was you. Jobsy. And um, he's a big fan of yours. Jobsy, yeah, no, lovely. He's a, he's a, he's, he died. <laughs> a few I'm years on ago. the other one, Derek from Blackberry. I liked him. Derek from Blackberry. Derek Jones, yeah. Jonesy. Oh, Jonesy. Oh, no, <laughs> Jonesy. <laughs> Ian, do you want to play the game of true or false? Oh, right, yes, yeah, so You've heard some things. Well, so I had a phone call with John and went through a few stories because Jim had told us a few rumours he's heard about you, so I thought we'd go through some yeah, stuff. Well, this is, let me explain first because when... Okay. few other characters have had on the show, so what happens, if you miss someone, you get some stories. Some of them are... are <coughs> put arms and legs on the story so the time you come around a story is a totally different story or <laughs> it's or you might have undercut the story yeah as well so if we're talking about stories i might have undercut it or i might have put or i might have been yeah. told it totally different but we're going to talk well and it might have been a dildo like, draw not I'd a dildo like, cover yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah not full so it'd be quite nice yeah. to see like the variation yeah in the well story. we'll see we'll see if you get it right true or false and then okay. john can yes okay I like so these are some of the stories good. we've heard about you yeah. Doing this podcast, basically. Right. Go so on. this Did one, this one, we're we're familiar with. So at Hull, John would eat dog shit <laughs> and yeah. tell players what he thought the species of dog was. <laughs> True or false? 
<laughs> oh, true, because I know I've been told that you've done that. George. I was told that you run round. <laughs> let me just say, I was told you run round like that. There's a bit of dog shit there, like you're having a stretch. Picked it up, had a nibble on it, and went. That's a Doberman. Or oh, that's a Labrador. <laughs> well, I, I think, I Did think you do that? Did nah, you do that? That's false. I think it's false. <laughs> false. Is that false? I'd like to say it was true, but nah, it's false. Was there anything to do with dog shit? <clears throat> not dog. There was, there was shit. But not, <laughs> not, <laughs> dug on to that just yeah, yet. I don't think we're asking if dog. dog shit exists. Not dog. <laughs> Where's Jimmy gone? <laughs> Hang on, it's, it's done like when Americans watch magic tricks and they just fuck You're off. in the middle of the field and there's shit in there, not done by a dog. So who's shit in the middle of the field? I don't know. The caretaker. It, it <laughs> wasn't dog shit, but it was shit. You have eaten the shit? No, I've not eaten <laughs> shit. Have you, <laughs> that, did you smell it? Did you pick it up? I might have picked it up. <laughs> oh, hello. Here we go. Don't, don't tell me shit stories. I eat a lot of stuff. Or maybe did you smell it and guess which species it is? Yeah, I might have. Might have smelt it, yeah, and the story's well, gone. Oh, it, it's gone to eat. So he you know, picked up right. shit and smelt it, yeah. not eating I'm it, just, yeah. and guessing the species. I just had a vision of <laughs> Steve Parking going. I know he don't like me. I know he plays all the shit games. <laughs> Parky having a shit on the field so he goes round and yeah. smells it. I smell that rat. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right, this, is Dog. A, this is the second one. <laughs> so, when Nicky Forster got into John's bath before he could, John threw his own shit in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it like loads of shit story? Um, so, I think that true was. Or false. Um, so he, so no, basically, I don't think he's got that in his locker. I don't think so. Nicky Forster so said. That he so went Nicky to get Forster's in. got into John's bath and he's he's took a shit in it because he's got in his bath. John took a shit in it. Yeah. No, he didn't. Have you done that? That's true. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it actually shit in the bath. He's got. I have a rummy bath. Yeah. He's got a lovely bubbles and everything. I'm really, oh yeah, of course. Cool, I'm yeah. really looking forward no, no to this. Shit in there. No, 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 no shit. No. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. And he said, yeah. "I'm just going to nip in your bath." I said, "No, nah, you're not, mate." No. He said, "I am." Is so this at the chain? The this chain, is the ground. The ground, ground yeah. He says, uh, "I am." So I went, and got me stuff for me to get washed with, and like, so it goes round. He's, he's just like they like that. So I never, I never said no to him. So I went to the toilet, I read a shit, scooped it up. <laughs> hey, Fozzie, this is for you, love. Chucked it in, mate, and he's fuck like this. Obviously, he couldn't see because there's all bubbles and that. Yeah. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done like, the worst one <laughs> times ever. <laughs> Addie Tate was all right with it. Yeah, I'm fine with it, yeah. He didn't know he can wash yeah. himself. Well, he never got in my bath again. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. That that. Love that one. <laughs> right, what about this one? John once had a pizza delivered to the home changing room at York for half time. <laughs> well, I, the, po- I, the poker face has got him. <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> Hang on, mate. I'm trying to tell the back water squeeze up here. <laughs> yeah, Papa um, John's. He's on the left wing. So, no, uh, I'm think no I think that's because he's got to get through security and all that. Not I think it's true. I for a laugh. No, nah, that's not true. Yeah. No. no. Where does that come from? That's that's me. Just made it up. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Uh-huh. I'm <laughs> pleased with myself. I convinced you. <coughs> what about on holiday in Magaluf, John took a shit in his shower and then invited an injured girl back to shower, I forgot, shower at his not place. Not the last one. I what? think you forgot he took a shit on a pizza as well. Everything's evolving around. <laughs> yeah, I should have said, should have said in, shit So pizza. I don't get this one. Right, so on holiday in Magaluf, John took a shit in his shower and then invited a girl back to shower at his place. <laughs> in the shit shower. He's definitely done that. <laughs> He's definitely done that. That's true. <laughs> true. So what, 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 I'm many more simplistic than... First of all, if there's a shower second. in the room, I know there's a toilet in there. Yeah, but to be fair... Well, the, first, do you think she needs a shower and I'm going to shit in it? Oh, oh God, she needs a shower and I'm nah, shitting it. I'm only... I'm probably about 19 in the year, like, so the kid oh, who I'm... I don't I'm think it, that's an excuse. <laughs> nah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so the kid who I'm rooming with, he's not into that sort of crack and that. What, shitting in the shower? Yeah, it's, no, stuff okay. like that. Yeah, right, boring <laughs> sap. So, yeah. yeah. I don't even know I went Magaluf with him. He was not up for that. What kind of stuff did he like? Shitting in toilets? Yeah. yeah, (laughs) Quite quite orthodox of you. Yeah, quite orthodox. (laughs) (laughs) A traditionalist. Yeah. A bit old, a bit vintage in his ways. So what's happened is... I knew this would be a good one. I've... uh, I have shit in the if shower. If you're on grease, you can put the shitty tissues in the bin. I know, yeah. yeah this would have been good. Sorry, what? Can't. Oh, you, don't, you, don't, you, <laughs> you can't put... put... You, you wipe your ass and you put it in the bin. Yeah, you yeah. can't put the tissue down the toilet because it's still not good enough. Yeah, you can do it all When do you empty the bin? Just, you you just tie it up. Yeah. <laughs> you got it's the full bin's up. full up of shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. I know, it's Fucking weird. Greeks, that's why their economy's bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> I live sorry, Colin, I still do that. Anyway, sorry. So we're So I've shit in the bath. Pull the shower curtain. Why? Why? Just for the crack, because he's. I know he's not gonna like it. <laughs> okay, you yeah, know so, what I mean. So that when he goes, like, oh, John shit he's the bath like, again. Fucking dirty bastard. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, it's quite good fun. Yeah, so cool, I sorry. Pull yeah. the shower curtain. Anyway, 
I've, <laughs> I've, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I've pulled this Doris. Yeah. So, you, <laughs> yeah. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> Go on, John boy. Yeah. So I've pulled oh. this bird. Yeah. And uh, oh. we're, we're walking down the street, but it was torrential rain. Mm. You ever been maggots? Have um, <laughs> <laughs> you ever been maggots? Yeah. Um, no, no, but I know what rain is, so. Right. I can be. <laughs> <laughs> <See it. laughs> <laughs> I've been to Spain and yeah, all But uh, there we go. Warm guy. Guy. <laughs> Too hot, that right? You don't run away from it. Yeah. Like, oh, but nice. didn't you um, say as well that this girl, you picked her up because she'd been like injured well, this is, by This is where I'm going to tell the story. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, 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 mate. Sorry. <laughs> so it's raining. It's 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 We're in Maggers. Yeah. You've got a Doris. It's raining. Warm rain. Torrential. Torrential. So Torrential. There's, there's a hill in Magalove. What's a hill? I just I can set the scene because I don't know what my <laughs> <laughs> So there's a hill, you're on the hill, yeah? Right. So there's two guys in full body wetsuits. Okay. Right. right. Skidding down the middle of the street. There's that much water. <laughs> yeah. Right? So what, suddenly this fucking Doris, one of them fucking takes her out, wipes her out. Oh. She's fl- gone flying, right? So <laughs> This is got gospel truth, right? A purse, a purse has smashed on through a phone everywhere and that. Yeah. So I went, picks her up. I'd all her elbows. I'd away. All her elbows. <laughs> <laughs> all her elbows cut. Okay. I'm like, we need to get that cleaned up. I says, come on, we'll go back. My hotel's only here. We'll go back to my hotel. Come back to your hotel. Is that your usual chat line? We need to no, get that no. cleaned up. <laughs> I think I've got her on. The, I think I've got her coming back, lads. Get your wetsuits on. <laughs> yeah, go. She take her so back. So I took her back. I says the shower's in there. So I've gone and lied on the bed. I've heard the shower curtain go. What the oh, fucking hell's that? <laughs> oh, another traditionalist. I'm like, oh no, oh no. She says, what, what is it, love? She says, there's a fucking massive shit in the middle of your bath. I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. I'm like, what a fucking dirty bastard he is. And I'm obviously blaming my roommate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so that did actually happen? That was, yeah, oh, that happened. Right. That's nice, you know, quite gentlemanly, apart from the shit in the bath, but looking after Yeah, again, well, I weren't uh, expecting that. No, of course not, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Forgot. Right, so this is the last true or false. John nearly killed goalkeeper Steve Simonson with a golf buggy. Um, true story. I think that could be true. Footballers like golf. That's true. <laughs> yeah. What, what happened? <laughs> we're, in, we're on a pre-season, pre-season trip in Austria, so we've got an afternoon off, went golfing. Another hill, funny enough. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think Austria. you should stay away yeah. from them, John. It's hills and yeah. shits, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so we, we going down to the next tee. There's a big hill. I thought, I'm going to fucking floor this. So I floored it, gets to the bottom, skidded it. I thought, Phew, we're going over here. We're going over. <laughs> Come on, calm me or so, I, <laughs> oh. so, I, so I've jumped out. Yeah. Uh, he obviously couldn't. He couldn't get out, so it's fucking yeah. rolled, <laughs> rolled like rolled once, rolled half again, and it's like rolled back down. No he's protection like, on him buggies. You know, he's, <laughs> he's got all that. It's all fucking dazed and that. <laughs> so I, we end, I think I ended up about pay about twelve hundred quid. The front was smashed, the roof was dented, and everything. Did so, he miss a game or something as well? Did you injure? I nearly him missed or? the start of the season. I cut all my leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I've, got, I've got a golf story. Did you? Which, I don't know if you you might have been at home. I've when, not killed another animal no, in the course ever. Someone that John Steve Parkin. Yeah. When he's playing golf and he'd done his nose, did you hear that? He's um, <laughs> playing golf apparently, and there's like he's took all the boys away, and um, he's with Brian Alton. Oh no, Brian yeah. Alton's he's three wood on the green. Parkin's about he's got about two hundred and twenty yards in. He's got three wood in his hand, but ten twenty yards ahead of him is like a bridge brick wall it's about knee height it's only knee height like ankle height he's like that. he's not even not even looked at that I think I know what he's, he's gonna gone, do fuck off hit the brick wall he's come back to him square in the boat <laughs> blew all his nose <laughs> and no one's like that looking where's the ball like that <laughs> he's looked round Parkin's boat is all over the shop everyone started laughing all the boys just see him coming back with a white towel just full of claret oh funny as fuck black eyes oh mate I just imagine being there like I'm oh, fucking wet myself I'd, I'd have paid to be there no no it's a year before I was there I miss all the fucking good bits I do um, who have you played with that's been a bit you know sort of a bit full on with uh, you know pranks as, you know not strictly shitting anywhere no I was with um, Ashby, oh, how did yeah. you find Ashby? Ash, all right, Ash were all right, yeah, yeah. yeah he said right. that he, he told me once. Tell me if this is true that he is your roomie, and he walked back in the room and he caught you having a. <laughs> 
tug. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just said, but as he walked in, it was like no one walked in. I was like, all right, Ash. I'm like, what, what are you still doing? Is There's no that true? stopping, is there? No, no right, mean, fair enough. Yeah, I mean. and then what, what else did he tell me? He told me another one. Hang on, bear with me. You carry on talking to him. He told me another one. Um, we'll talk about Forest Green Rovers. Do, 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 do the players all have their own Forest Green? Oh, no, hang on a minute. I've got it. Just in case I forget. <laughs> He said that we don't really want to know the answer to that question. <laughs> Sorry, a Barnsley boy, you Barnsley boy, yeah? Yeah. And he said um, you used to play at a hull, and because oh. you was bored living on your own, you got a job serving pints in your local afterwards. Yeah. Is that true story? <laughs> <laughs> so after a day's <laughs> training, parking in his local, um, pulling pints. I wasn't really in a job, I just used to go and help out, like. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can tell us, mate. The tax man won't be on you for that. That's show. another one that I loved. Quid but I was like, "What really?" Like professional football player, and he goes back to Lowton, pulls pints. So yeah, he just done that. I was like, "All oh, right, okay, that's quite random." So you done that? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, nice. Did they pay you for that? No, no. no. Pay um, you in booze, obviously. Yeah, uh, might have got a Sunday dinner out of it. Did, 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 <laughs> did you used to drink in your career? Like, you are taking a piece. <laughs> he loved the bevy. <laughs> that's why he's here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going out after this. <laughs> That's what he used to drink. He's a fucking animal. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> have, you ever, have you been played drunk? No. Nah, to be fair. I, nah. To, uh, I never used to do Thursday, Fridays. I did, I did it once. I did it once. I was playing for York. And uh, I, took a, I took a bird out and I was adamant I weren't drinking. Anyway, I ended up getting twatted. <laughs> Why? Because of the shit in jail? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was bad. Uh, so... We're, we're playing Torquay on the Saturday. So I've gone in training at York on the Talkie Friday. Away. Torquay away. Oh, uh, oh God. A journey, and uh, I'm obviously fucking rough. Got up the Saturday. I was playing centre half at the time. Uh, after half an hour, we're 3 0 down, and all three goals were my fault. <laughs> I got dragged after, after 34. Yeah. I've fucking never been as happy to come off in my life. <laughs> yeah. But, no, it's just you can't play piss, can you? No, nah, I... even, even more so now. It's like two or three days hangover. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, obviously not an animal like me. Right, um, you two are both on FIFA about similar times. Okay. Ian's going to do the FIFA. Not, long, same time. not long, John. We can get in a pub, 10 minutes. <laughs> not long. He's right. like, that fucking gosh, Billy. Right, like, so basically, nah. <laughs> this is, you've got to guess your ratings that, that you got on FIFA out of 100, and we'll see who gets the closest. What do you reckon you got for aggression? Hate to. Ooh, 80. He's gone big. What do you think? It's not like you said Haiti I'm, then. <laughs> I'm, 70, I'm like 68. Well, 68. That's a way. You, John, you got 65. Jimmy got 79. Oh. Aggressive. <laughs> Some 40. Yeah. More. That's, uh, yeah. I don't know who's but won he's there. A but... gen- <laughs> yeah, he's a gentle giant, see? From outside looking yeah. in, he's a gentle giant, see? I was more like a little terror. <laughs> what about heading? <laughs> no, I'm really weak at that. I'd say 88. <laughs> 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 no, I was like 50s. I was 50s. 60s. Six, 62. What 73. Oh, John's a closest, 69. Jimmy, you got a 70. It's really? Yeah. So I'm better than him. <laughs> fucking does FIFA. <laughs> It's usually okay. Jimmy who get you get furious if, if these aren't good for you. Yeah, but I listen, I'm oh, ahead of him at the minute. This next one. You're not going to be happy with. What do, you, what do you think for long passing? Oh, mine's unbelievable. <laughs> 88 minimum. 56. Right. Jimmy's the closest on 76. John, you got. T- <laughs> <laughs> I can't look at you and say it. 26. 26. Okay, I've done well to play football. <laughs> <laughs> I played football for 18 Twins. years. How did they measure that? I don't know how they measure that. I've just seen a YouTube clip of him scoring the halfway line and <laughs> they give it that. <laughs> well, I think I'm at least 18 at long balls. Uh, Rob actually fa- oh yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> Rob actually fancies himself as a professional football yeah. player. Yeah, no, look not a professional. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he loves, he's a semi-professional. What would you love to be? Footballer. I'd probably be a footballer in the comic. You'd love it, wouldn't you? You've done well in this one. What about strength? Oh, oh, it's got to be your game. Look 80. at the bear. Ooh, 80. What do you think? Oh, I'd say 66. Right, who's got, oh, right. So, Jimmy, you lose this one. you got 79. What, for strength? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that 100 or 200, this? 100. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite tough, wasn't it? John, you got 89. Oh, look at him. Bad. He's an absolute unit. 89. It's the strongest. Fenway, right? Who's the strongest player you come up against? He was, always, was you always stronger? 
No, I'm not even really that strong. I never do weights. What are you good at like in that. football then? <laughs> <laughs> you can't let go. You can't long ball. That's some good right dressing room. You get in the dressing room. That's what Tony Pulley said to me. I'm Was like, oh, look, I, 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 I want to leave. Yeah. No, I like you around the place. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just kiss well, a pack in Spain, then I'll pick all the shit up. <laughs> 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 Boys, <laughs> <you're loving that. laughs> Is that the, the guide dog yeah. on Blue, Blue, Blue Peter? I had a little, little bit of that MK Don's. Carl Robinson phoned me up. You know that's coming towards the end of your career. Yeah, I like you around the place. Ooh, I'm 27, me. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jimmy and Ian, this time I'm going to both give you a scenario for your commentary. Um, right. Basically, Nearly done, John Boy. We get this out of You're doing it together. So, who wants to be lead commentator and who wants to be the analysis? Who wants to be like the Martin Can I Tyler? do the first one? Because when I go after him, it puts me under the Okay, gosh. so why don't you, you do, do it and the, then I'll come in. He'll do the he'll analysis the as the ex pro. You'll do more of like what's happened and then he can comment off the back of it. Um, so, this time we've got actual footage for you to commentate on. Um, so oh, right. Like it. Um, and it's, yeah. So, basically, it's um, going to be John Parkin's wonder goal. Okay. I've got to lead him to it. So what? I'm, uh, we're just going to talk through this and commentate. So it's like normal commentary. So you're the lead commentator, and Ian's going to give a bit of analysis on it. Um, if, you, um, can, you can. We all tweet the links. So you can. Remember, watch I don't it. know yeah. the players' names, so I'm going to use their numbers as like. If okay, anyone cause... wants to go on YouTube, it's highlights. Fire Screen Rovers three, Maxfield Town one. Start at one minute fifty. Cool, perfect. And enjoy yourselves. Okay. Okay. Have a little Sam. I need to see this to <laughs> talk us through it. Yeah, no. We're off now to Jimmy Bullard and Ian Smith at the New Lawn Stadium, where it's currently one 0 between Forest Green and Maxfield. Lads, how's the game going so far? So basically, I've got to say it's a beautiful day here at Macclesfield. Um, there oh, the isn't a lot of people shining, there, but the sun is shining, and Forest Green are on the attack. It's gone to the right back. He's just—it's a lovely little clip ball down the line to the number seventeen, who's turned. He's in the box. Can he do a little bit? Can he find someone? He slotted it across oh. the goal and it's gone out for a corner. What a wanker, Jim. He's absolutely... <laughs> JB's he's blowing there. Big there. John Park in. There he is. He's on the ball. He's slotted he's one out on wide. Here. The left wing has got... The, and the right wing has got the ball. He's cut inside. Oh, he's done a bit of skill. Yeah, he's gone past Look at him. that. Look at the speed. Who is this? Big JP. Oh. Big JP's oh, on the other way. He's got it. He's shot on the other way. He's Whoa. got it again. He's only, he's only got in the fucking back of the young year. And what a celebration! Bro. He's just celebrating like he does it every day! He's walking through him, he's just badging he's just, through him! Yeah, I've got to say, what a goal, Johnny boy. Well, let me just talk you through this on the replay, Jim. It, it's gone to Park and he's took one touch. He's absolutely funded it! And I've got Holy to fuck! <laughs> good work, man. Him. Good commentary. But, um, good. Right, he's looking yeah. like, no, no way. Oh, shit. I've actually <laughs> seen that goal. It was a good one. Oh, it's yeah. Right. <laughs> it's, it's all right. <laughs> He did all it's right. Funny, I um, really, if you, if you um, could tell by our excitement levels. It's exciting, I like that feature. But you know what, lads? I think when we do another series, I think we need new features. So that's time for the magic sponge devotees, listeners, peasants, scumbags, nice guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> men, women and children that all listen. Probably not children. Um, ideas. Basically, we want new ideas, new feature ideas for next series. So we're putting it out to you guys. Tweet us at hashtag magic sponge or review the series on iTunes with your suggestions of things you want to see or hear us doing, saying. Any Good sort idea. Of... Did you come up with that idea? Um, no, that was producer's idea. To the idea ask to ask other people for ideas. Mm. Yeah, it's an inspired decision. <laughs> I to, just uh... think it's a great idea. I think it's great. I mean, if anything, <laughs> that should be a new ideas. feature. Yeah. Just like oh, ideas, yeah, yeah. ideas. Yeah. If any ideas you got, hashtag Magic Sponge or review us on iTunes and then in the little box type your suggestion of a feature and then hopefully and then we'll name the feature after you. Okay, Brilliant. I think that's a good way, isn't it? We could, could be like the Steve Lomas feature if what Steve Lomas wants to get in. Where contact. did that pop up in your head? I don't know where Steve <laughs> Lomas came from. Jesus, what? It's that a strange person to pick out, wasn't it? It was a strange mm. person. It's a ginger Irishman. Yeah, yeah that's very fine. strange. Mm. Anyway, um, so let us know about your feature ideas. It's right. sad, isn't it, though, features because it's a podcast. You can't see see out. You know what Pardon? I mean? You can't see out. <laughs> See out, see out, see out, see out. I just don't want people going see like, out. oh, J- Jimmy could do loads of tap ups or something, because then that's us just going like, tap ups. No one calls it keepy uppies. Keepy uppies. Tap ups. Because <laughs> keepy uppies sounds like a fucking grown man Got talking about ups. football professionally, doesn't it? Tap ups. Tap ups. Tap ups. It's tap- not unbelievable, well, is it? Go, you're right, tapping right. it up. It's not like, I don't know what you're talking about, you're mate. Keeping it up. Keepy uppies. Yeah, you're either keeping it up, you're tapping it up. It's not fucking unreal what I've just said. Tapping <laughs> like, it up. Oh, the oh, fuck this is, is like, this you know, guy? Not down ginger. 
Yeah. You know, where you knock on the door and then run off. Knock a door and run. Knock a door and run, of course. It's not down ginger. Because they're not always knock ginger. You're not always Well, if, if it's Steve Lomas's <laughs> house and it's his feature, yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, what do you call them? Tap ups? Uh, keep ups. Keep ups. Keep ups. Keep ups. Yeah, keep ups. Keep up is a. Why is he adding. <laughs> oh, I've just got a bit of flair up about Keep up is like presenting CBBC. Oh, tap ups. Fuck off. Sound like you're, to pay, sound like you're trying to pave something in your new card. He's got a tap up. Has he got contactless? <laughs> Fuck off, you weird northerner. No tap offense, ups, mate. Um, <laughs> oh. No offense, you. Just, as he said, he thought, and I'll get out of this one. Because he's about? so witty. No offense, you. <laughs> I'll slide out of that. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's it. Thank you very much, John Parker. Oh, you think you want to have Oh, John, thanks for coming. No I finally enjoyed this one. Thank you very much. Um, one, make sure you review us and share the link and download. Is this the last one of the series? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, oh, and just keep times. tweeting hashtag more magic sponge to at join underscore Dave so you can get that magical fourth series. And don't oh. forget the animated thing on YouTube you can watch. Yeah. Oh, don't forget yeah. that, guys. That's Have good. a bang on that. Right. See you later. Cheers. Bye. See you all Bye. later. Thank you. We love you. The Magic Sponge is a picture production for Dave, produced by Sam Pearson and Chris Reedy.